Hi guys, welcome back. Hope you are all still doing fine in these crazy times. This month I have a very fresh theme for you. It's a bit different compared to my previous themes. It's less complicated, but I really wanted to do a lemon and oranges theme for once. Grab a cup of coffee or draw with me if you like. And let's get started. Of course everything is sketched out so I know where my illustrations will be. I created a pattern of slices, oranges and lemons and a glass of orange juice. Normally I would start with the watercolor, but this theme we are starting with a fine liner. Make sure it's waterproof. I'm going to draw the fruit with a wobbly line. It's okay if there are gaps and shaky lines. It's a bit of a playful look. For more details you can add some random dots. When you are done drawing, you have some sort of big coloring picture. We are going to give the fruit some color by using watercolors. I start off with the lightest color yellow for the lemons. Start off light, you can always add a darker color on top, but you can never go back. I make sure the bottom of the fruit is slightly darker than the top. This makes it look more 3D. After this we are coloring in the oranges. Don't be too neat, we are going for a messy look over here. Finish by painting the leaves in a green tone and splatter some paint over your pattern for the playful look. I write May down at the bottom. I saw it wasn't precisely in the middle of the page, so to make it look more balanced, I drew a heart after the month. On to the monthly page. For the intent of viewer, 
Yes, I messed up again. I pictured the month June in my head when setting up this spread, so the dates definitely don't match up with May. I only realized this while editing the video, so it's fixed now, but I didn't tape that. The process of making this page is practically the same as the cover page. Draw the outlines first and start adding colors after. I picked up brush lettering again and wrote down May with my favorite pens from Faber Castell. To define the letters some more, I added some drop shadow. Thanks to Amanda, huge inspiration. And voila, the monthly overview is done. The next pages are my tracker spreads. I must say the way I drew my trackers the previous time is still my favorite and the most effective one. But I wanted to change things up and go back to my circular set for once. I still use a print of a circle with the dates and then trace this. Someone told me there was a device for this so I should definitely look into that. Because this way my lines are still wobbly and uneven. In the circle I draw a glass of orange juice again and on the right there's the pattern of lemons and oranges. The last spread is my weekly spread. Since I am home 24 7 I use my bullet journal a lot more. I use my weekly spreads for tiny tasks that have to be done, for my workout since I can't go to the gym anymore, but also for work. I think my weeklies are the most important spreads in my journal right now. It keeps me sane as far as that's possible. I divide my weekly in six columns and draw an orange or a lemon on top.
After this we start with the watercolor the same way as we did on the previous pages. Add some playful dots on top of the page. Little tip, if you think your watercolor looks too flat or not bright enough, you can always add some color with a pencil or a marker like I did here. This way you add more depth to your illustration. That's it. I am ready for May to come. I hope this video was helpful in any kind of way. I know it's a bit different than my usual dreamy kind of themes, but changes things up is really refreshing, literally. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram on Dutch underscore dots. Hope to see you next time. Stay safe, stay strong. Bye guys.